All right, so it's always a great position to be uh, last in the day. I know it's been a long day, so I'm going to try to do some rapid fire demos here. And my goal is just to scratch the surface on some of the things you can do with um, the integration of PhoneGap with, um, with Enterprise, which is uh, mainly Adobe's um, uh, experience manager uh, offering, which is a content management server. So I already did a few of these slides earlier today, so I'm going to just sort of bump over sort of the advanced section. So early today, um, right at the beginning, of, I just sort of showed quickly uh, getting started with Enterprise, which was really using the marketing cloud as, um, as your content management server. So now I'm actually going to dig deeper into um, Adobe's uh, uh, Experience Manager, which is our main content uh, management authoring uh, solution. And what we can do now is actually leverage the content authoring abilities that uh, the uh, AEM already has, which has um, been used extensively for creating web content for years now. And we can actually package all that up in a way that is uh, PhoneGap friendly and then build away and we can uh, actually author PhoneGap apps completely within uh, uh, the, the uh, authoring system if we want. And then next I'm going to, what I call God mode, and really just talk about control now. And that means not only control of what you want to manage, like you can either create PhoneGap apps completely on, in, inside an enterprise uh, server. You can pick and choose bits and pieces that you want and maybe keep some of your web development outside of the server. It's really up to you. And also, total control means you actually, once you go the enterprise route, you get a lot more control over the management of your apps, all, both on the development side, going through stages of production, and also when your app is actually out publicly available, you can um, manage updates, you can manage um, the analytics, and a, lot of, and a lot of other features that um, um, uh, Adobe provides through its um, um, marketing solutions. So that's really it for slides. I'm going to try to be done as quick as I can. Um, I'll shut these windows down. So following with the uh, demos we had today, I'm going to sort of follow the whole conference tracker idea we had before. And I'm going to fire up my local server, we'll log in, and we'll see what I put in here. So, so this is what you see when you enter Adobe's um, um, uh, content management server, and make this a little bigger. So I've created a couple workshop apps I just wanted to drill through. Um, I should mention then, so I'm going to first talk about the content authoring side, and what I did for this is actually I went to GitHub, and my colleague Bruce so it's kindly created a starter kit. So I'm going to use this today just to um, st start, um, start off with what I want to build. So I, I cloned his repo, which is uh, not there, this one. So I cloned that repo, which basically gives me the ability to create a content package. So that's the um, term that we use to create packages that we can send them to our server. So I did that. Built it, uploaded it to the server, and that's what is here. So now you're getting, I think he's getting bigger. Now you're getting a quick sneak peek of what sort of the um, management uh, uh, dashboard kind of console kind of looks like. So what I've done, basically done here is uploaded uh, uh, an app to the server and I can actually um, actually now I can think of what I do now is show it in if I can I went full screen didn't I is it full screen Back here. That's what I wanted to do. I am going to fire up the local instance of the Fulcrum Enterprise app just to for viewing this. So I've got a local instance here that I created.
done. Yep. We'll use this for. Oh, crazy resolution. Okay, we'll pick a different. Log into my local server. Type in some username and password. And I'm gonna go see what I should have seen on the, the before. So I got a few apps in my system. This is the one I was looking at. This is the one I uploaded and, and already noticed a few things. I'm like, oh, title's kind of long. It's not gonna look good in the app store when it goes in. But I can um, download it. This is not the greatest resolution for this. There we go. So this is my app. So not much to it. I um, just this is the starter kit. Created a few um, a few entries in it, and so now I actually want to go make some changes. So get rid of that. Now we go, we can go back and actually show some authoring right in here. So first of all, we didn't like that title. So now that we've actually added our app, we can actually manage the uh, config XML as well. So I can make a couple changes here. So let's call this, what we really want to call it is workshop, maybe we want to change the name to Sure, made some changes there to our uh, config. Now we're actually gonna go look at the content. So there we go, so there's, there's all those um, entries you saw earlier. So this is now basically a way that once, once you're coming into the content authoring um, uh, system, it gives basically non-developers a way to provide content for your app. And so that there's um, templates and components that get create generated that you can pick from. So I'm gonna pick this session page template, give it a name, I guess we'll do one for me. Oops, spelled wrong, that's fine. Then we can actually edit it. So now we're going into the authoring mode. So if someone's created this nice template for me and gives me some places to edit, they, they should have named things better, but I think there's a picture of me somewhere in here. Sure, we can drag in a picture. Sure, we can give it a name. And give, give myself a name. And so forth. Also, I'm just, so I'm basically, just, but I'm really doing here is just creating web content in a, in a, in a, you know, an environment that non-developers could play with. So there we go. I created a page. So we can close that now. Now, if we go back to my simulator. And connect back to my server. Now we should notice there's this name, the name changed, and now if I open it, I should also hopefully see an entry for me. There we go. So a new entry got added. I can go in and check it out and like, okay, that looks pretty good. So basically we're using the phone gap enterprise app. Um, uh, in this case, is a way to, um, we can um, view the app or someone else can be viewing the app as it's going through the various stages of development. Close that down. So that was, yeah, so that's a super quick overview of content authoring, which you, that, um, you, you can now, uh, is now integrated with PhoneGap. And the next one I wanna show is something bit more advanced, and it's, I'm going to use um, the uh, conference tracker app that you guys were working on earlier today. So just like you guys, I followed the steps and created um, a workshop folder, but I did a few extra things to it. Uh, I'm going to open up 
something you guys can actually see. So I remember, remember, remember when Christoph was talking about, um, in this case, the sort of different ways you could um, uh, provide services for the data that the app can, um, um, used. So I created a new one for um, PhoneGrip Enterprise. Basically what I'm gonna do is I, I have a known URL. So basically once we um, ingest this into, um, into um, the enterprise server, it's gonna, we're gonna use a server to generate the data for us and the data is gonna come back down with the app and that just happens to be the path I stuck it in. It's just a path. So I created a new service that uses that path, does all the deferred stuff like we, we talked about earlier to get that data um, off the device, parses it, and then, um, and then does the proper implementations. And then I went to the index HTML, and I just need to then change where I'm getting my services from, so I'll change that to PG. And that's the only change I gotta make to the app, just where it's data, different, different data source. So now if I go into my Godnode app, so this is just another um, build package uh, project, just like the last one, so it gives me a way, it's just a Maven project so I can upload a, a package. And I also wrote a little node script that will take the, um, the, the phone gap content that's not being managed and, and suck it in. So I'm gonna just do that right now. So I'm gonna copy in that, those changes I just made. And then I can run my little Maven build. Happy. Now that's uploaded to my local server already. So this, this one here. So again, it's pulled in the um, it's got it's pulled in the icon from my config XML, and I can, similarly I can um, I can open that up if I want to view more details about it. A version, so this is, this is all information from the config XML that's just showing about the, um, the versions it's using. You can also, you can actually start using this to manage your, um, your screenshots as well when you actually do an app store submission. So again, this time we're not, we're, we're not, cont we're not authoring the entire page, we're just gonna author the data. I'm mm -hmm. the wrong place. And where's my data? There it is. So I've got, in this case, I'm gonna manage some session data. So again, sort of looks similar, but we're just, it's just sort of a, a different approach. I can, again, if I want, I can create new session data. Here's a session page. Same thing. So again, because we're offering data, this is just something I whipped up quickly, but it's obviously doesn't have, because this is data, it doesn't have to look like the end result, but um, I can, um, whatever, give some information to these. Mm, maybe, a, it's probably enough for now. back to my dashboard. So last time I was using the PhoneGrip Enterprise app, we don't have to use that. You can actually build it yourself. You can, use it. You can go through PhoneGrip Build if you want. But I'm, because I've got it, I'm gonna actually just download the app with, with, with the um, data in it. And there we go, save that. And where did I put it? There it is. You can unzip it on my file system, look at it. And it should look very similar. It's a typical phone gap layout, but now it's part of the um, part of the um, WW w folder. Not only has it sucked in all the content that we've had from our, our, our pure phone gap app, but I've added some extra stuff like uh, the data, right? So remember that really long path before. So 
there we go. So now we've actually got some data that's stored on there. So now we can actually get, now the data is actually part of the app. It doesn't have to go out, um, it doesn't have to go online to find it. And what, and I'm going to build this now. And go back there. Open the command line. I'm going to, try, just to be different, I'm going to try to do it on my Android instead of iOS. So plug this guy in so I can actually build to it. See what happens. Fire up something to mirror. All that builds. We'll open up this guy. Finish building. Don't get chugging away. So it starts going. Oh, didn't work. Of course. Do -do. Where did it go? Workshop. Ah, uh, see, now I probably forgot something. You can try an iOS. Good question. It was working earlier, so I, I, I must have missed a step. There you go. So, and hopefully we see my new entry in here too. If I can actually scroll to it. There's a new entry at the bottom I added. I didn't add an image or anything. So now I gotta figure out why it didn't work on Android. It should have. It's, I just ran the build again. But anyway, so what I've shown now is that you basically, it's two different ways you can manage your content and there's a, no, um, a few advantages that you're saying, well, what's, well, what's the point? Well, there's a couple points. First of all, it's, you, it's being managed as part of your organization. Uh, one of the big, uh, big benefits are, um, um, you, you can actually, I can actually show you some little sample is, um, you can actually pr do updates over the air now. So you're, 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 once your device is connected to a managed server, it's got the capabilities now of talking to that server to, get up, to bring updates back into it. And I didn't show it today, but I do have a, um, show you something I wrote for a different project. I wrote a little, um, yeah, um, part of what um, PhoneGap Enterprise provides is, um, right here, you can actually get an instance of um, something called content up an update, and you can use this to um, update content. And this is something you're going to learn more about tomorrow, so this is why I'm not talking about it today. Um, and the last thing I'll show when I talked about control was um, uh, I go back to, uh, well, I guess I can use it here. So I, I can actually think, look, think, look, uh, link this up to my um, mobile services account. So this is where I can get all, an analytics on my um, app. And it's going to chug away for it. But basically now it's talking to um, analytics. And it's, this, is for a, this is data for a different app. I just wanted to bring it in. So basically it's showing. So now you've got one central place for all your apps that um, that um, once you've instrumented your app, you can see um, how it's being used once it's been uh, published to the App Store. You can manage your builds here. You can manage all your updates here. And 
and then, then you can also manage the development. So I, I do encourage there's a couple talks tomorrow that go into more details on the phone campaign enterprise app. And there's also going to be another, another talk on, um, uh, on phone campaign enterprise in general about, on, about the whole um, uh, creation experience. And I think with that, I know we're supposed to be ending soon, but we can um, ask me questions or we can ask uh, any other questions you might guys have. But uh, I think that's been long enough for today. So thanks.